Chris Bondon now joins us from Melbourne. He's an expert in family finances. His business is called Bills to Pay, and as I said, he joins us from Melbourne. All right, Chris, what is in it for your average, normal Australian family? Uh, are things slightly better or slightly worse out of tonight? Good evening, Paul. I personally believe that um, families are going to now struggle on the back of this. There's 28,000 families um, that will miss out on the baby bonus, um, and that's what we're talking about. We've got families losing $5,000 on one side of the ledger, and, and gaining 3000 on the other. In a nutshell, the family budget's now going to be in deficit, um, like the federal budget. What we've got now is families looking at trying to make money, and with these tax cuts um, of only small increments, where, where are these families going to find uh, the extra surplus in their budget to be able to, to pay their bills on time? What about things like the, these medical expenses? The fact that there would be an awful lot of people who, who almost rely, they expect that of all of the money that they put in in their, in their yearly income tax return is that they might be able to get a little bit back and that'll be the $2,000 for medical expenses. That's gone now. Correct. Well, that's now $2,000 for... Now, singles and wealthy families now need to spend $2,000 to get 80% back. In the past, they've been able to get that 80% back before spending that amount of money. Um, as I said earlier, Paul, the families are struggling to live week to week, and now, let alone now taking away you know, family tax benefits, um, we're reducing it in a way. But again, we've got young families going to be disadvantaged as a result of this family budget. And my argument's going to be is, you know, families who have up like two or three thousand dollars a year in surplus um, to have a baby now, where are they going to find the extra uh, five thousand dollars, which, which they may have found um, previously, or with the helping hand of the government? It's, it's more and more concerning now um, how they're going to get into surplus themselves. But Chris, uh, David Spears, here, let, let me ask you, isn't there an entitlement issue here? I mean, this isn't money being taken away from families. It's, this is about babies that are going to be born uh, well into next year and beyond. They'll get three grand, in, uh, sorry, two grand instead of, instead of five grand. Can families really expect you know, these sort of handouts from government into the future? Yeah, well, David, with the data that we see, with families struggling, they've, we've got probably about two or three thousand dollars in surplus with the amount of credit card debt in this country. Um, yes, I understand your point. It's only going to impact those who are having a baby, but those who are only saving two, two or three thousand dollars a year, um, it makes it harder to be able to rely on their own income, especially if the average income earner is potentially earning about seventy thousand dollars and and one person goes off um, on maternity leave, it's difficult to be able to, to stay above uh, water with their cash flow. All right, good on you, Chris. Thank you so much. All the best for things. His business is called Bills to Pay. All right, I've got 90 seconds.